be alongside this too. Um, and basically, this is a Nickelodeon rant. As you've seen through my channel, I fit. I am a very equal channel with all three of the networks. In fact, Disney probably gets the least attention because all I get if it for Guardy Falls. And trust me, I will start reviewing some of these sitcoms and taking them out one by one. But with that being said, Nickelodeon deployed a terrible tactic. Sadly, their all cartoon channel, Nicktoons, has live actions. No! Yes. It's true. They've started airing their live action programming on Nicktoons. In the morning, in fact. And this is going to get into a serious rant. Alright. First thing to get done. This is a terrible tactic. Like, one of the worst I've seen the network use. Okay, so, Nickelodeon used their tactics to harm Korra. Now, in the morning, they have Nickelodeon's preschool lineup, which is not for the older kids. In fact, yeah. So, yeah, got that right out of the gate. The next nail in this coffin is Teen Nick's behavior. Teen Nick is an all sitcom, except for 90s or all that, and I haven't seen that yet. It's an all teen sitcom network. So don't you think they're airing the classic ones while Nick's airing the modern ones? Third of all, these Nick sitcoms do not cross demographics with the Nick tunes. And let me explain this. I don't expect someone who's into, like, Teenage Ninja Turtles to, like, the Thundermans. I doubt. Well, there's probably, they're out there. But, Nick sitcoms cater to boys and girls. Failing dr Leaning on the girl side. Nickelodeon cartoons, some can cater to both. Cartoon Network's got the legacy of having seen the universe of Adventure Time, and I'll have to pull Teen Titans Go and Gumball into this mix. Those shows can cater to both demographics. These Nicktoons, nowadays, cannot. They're boy shows. Like, almost exclusively. I doubt I know any girl who finds Sanjay and Craig or Breadwinners funny. And one I'm going to have to give a second look at soon is Harvey Beaks, because I've heard it's better than I expected it to be. Like, a lot. Um, third, or wait, no. Next thing. These Nick sitcoms have no quality in them whatsoever. The only one to come out recently that it's actually liked is 100 Things to Do for High School, and that show is pretty darn good. It's gotten better. And I'll be touching up on that eventually, too. So many things I have to do. But besides that, they're, they refuse to air some of their classic good cartoons to review, to show modern um, crappy sitcoms and cartoons. That's Nickelodeon's plan. Their normal channel suffers enough with this. I mean, I mean, look, just saying, even for someone who's not a fan of their current cartoons, they overplay Spongebob. They really overplay Spongebob. And what else do they put on their lineup? Old Fairly Odd Parents, I respect them for this. And the old, the old SpongeBob, and I respect them for that too. But, and then their live action shows. That's it. This network has gone from being 
a very diverse network with many shows it could look fall upon to a network with only a few. You don't see reruns on the weekdays of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is their last quality Nicktoon. Seriously, it seems like only two shows at a time I've liked. And how many times do I have to say this? Nickelodeon is a terrible network right now. Don't believe me? Well, these are their strategies. Constantly use Dan Schneider. Constantly rerun SpongeBob. Constantly forget to put any new show whatsoever on there. Kill the only good shows they've got. Overplay the classics. They're allowed for instance SpongeBob, by the way. Add characters in it characters to an existing cast that's actually pretty likable. Have a character try to drive another character to suicide. Oh, trust me, one force meal. I'll get to you. I really haven't touched up on this network in a long time, since like December of last year, in fact. But no, Nickelodeon stands to this day as one of the worst downfalls in history. Cartoon Network, I can not see why people and dislike it as a whole. Nickelodeon, I can. I mean, even Tim and T isn't that great. It's probably a 7 out of 10. Well, 100 Things to Do Before High School is more like an 8 out of 10. Still, that's still pretty good. Um, Disney State is pretty much the same, their main channel at least. Disney XD's got a fighting chance with Star vs. and Gravity Falls. And they probably got plenty of other shows up that gold mine. Heck, heck, even Disney XD's live actions are better. So in conclusion, I was mean to do this, but because of my habits of getting off focus, it became a Nick rant. Thank you for watching this video, and I plan to do many more. In fact, why not make this whole week filled with reviews? That's right, I'm going to do a review every episode this, no, every day this week. If they're scheduled, they might just be. If they're not, uh, you'll be lucky, 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 lucky buggers. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.